welcome back to my channel oh my gosh you guys it's been a while since done another makeup haul you guys look i have so much stuff inside this makeup basket if you guys don't know what makeup haul is, it's basically every time I get new makeup inside my Ipsy, I leave it inside my box and then every time it's like a good full amount, I go ahead and show you guys what I have and then everything I will show you guys, it will just stay inside my collection, not used, not touched, not until my other stuff is definitely you know, talk about in my monthly empties. Also guys, I actually just brushed my hair and I also did my hair like this. So it looks really, really cute. And also guys, my lotion of Gold Bond is definitely halfway done. That's gonna be my next empties very soon. So miss you guys, stay tuned for that. But if you guys are also new to my channel, don't forget to hit thumbs up. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe because you're brand new. And also make sure you guys also ring that bell. So that way you guys can see more awesome content every Monday, Wednesday, and also Friday. I have some more content you guys very soon. So after you guys see this haul, I will get back into my, the rest of my vlogmas of last year and then i will you know go back and forth between my vlogmas and also my make tutorials again but i will definitely do another hygiene haul another skincare haul so you're gonna see a lot of stuff in those videos like very soon but further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay guys so the first thing i actually got i got this blush palette in my ifc if you guys want to know i did pick this out in my blush in my choice in my ifc because i love picking products that i just really really want to try but if you guys want to know it splits out like that and then this is what the regular packaging looks like if you guys can't see, there is a plastic thing like this. And every time I use a new product, whenever you guys, I don't use a new blush or highlighter. I just leave everything, especially this plastic thing alone. And when all my other old blushes and highlighters that I will talk about in my monthly empties, you guys are gonna see a lot of new blushes collection. And there's been a lot more makeup, you guys, like every month. So it's really important that I always do this every time. But the blush I have is called Plum, Apricot, Raspberry, and Peach. And if you guys can't really see, but there's a plus thing on the mirror. I always leave that every time when I'm using a highlighter or a blush because I want to keep it nice and protected. But I don't know if you guys can see, but these two right here are also very shimmery. But these two right here are not shimmery. I haven't smelled this yet. They don't really have a scent, but if you guys don't really like scents, this one does not have that. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this plus thing back on and this also on too but don't worry you guys you guys are gonna see a lot of these in my empties in the future speaking of another blush this is the video cosmetics it is skin illuminate super fun luminous blush palette you guys want to know that if they picked this blush for me I took that weird box inside this, but it's still a regular box. I also wish that more products kind of show you if it's recyclable or not. But the blushes I have is Soft Coral, Shimmery, Rose Pink, and Silk Peach Pink. 
bait. There's also the plastic thing right there. And if you guys see this part right here, it does have that right there. I just leave it alone because I don't want to mess up this packaging. But you guys can see those are blushes right here. I'm gonna smell if they have scent. They don't really have a scent, but it's good. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this plastic thing on there too. And then I'm gonna put this back in the packaging. You guys are gonna definitely see a lot of the exact same products over and over and over again. But I'm really glad I'm using a lot of my old stuff. So if you guys have a ton of makeup, I really recommend it if you go through the rest of all your makeup, have a day of just going through each of your products and then putting them inside your empties. If they're dried up or it's like done with and they just forgot to put in your empties but you always put them back inside your drawer. It's a good way of going through your products and then, then just go ahead and literally do a empties review of all your products that you actually go through. But the best part is, it's really fun to do them every single month. And that way you can refresh it again and go through more stuff. If you have a lot of skincare, a lot of hair care and that you just forgot to put in your empties, it's really good to include them. All right guys, you guys definitely seen these lip glosses from Bath My Works in my semi-sale haul. Well, I am really glad I have three of them, but I will definitely buy some at Bath My Works and then I will also get them at my EFC too. So I'm gonna show you guys which ones I have. I have the Berry Mimosa. That's what that one looks like. And the other one I have is the Bubbly Rose. There's that one looks like. And the last one I have is the Sparkling Berry Tint High. And then there's that one looks like. If any of my lip glosses have a plastic thing around it, I don't use them. Cause right now I'm working on a ton of other lip glosses I actually am going through. I did find one, but that's already in my makeup empties. So you'll probably see that in my next upcoming makeup empties in the future. Speaking of, you guys, I actually, and now if you guys want to know that this primer right here is my mom's that she just gave me. And then these two are the ones that I got I got this one in my Boss of Charm, and then I got this one in my Ipsy. But my mom gave me her Laura Geller Sprinkle Skin Refracting Primer. This is the original Therial Rose Glow. I do have a Laura Geller in my collection, but this is the second one I'm really excited to use. But if you guys want to know, it does have a pump. So that means I don't have to open this and I'll have to scrape it out and get every bit of this out. It just does it on its own. And then this is the one I got in my Bosch's Charm. This is the Skin Ink Supplement Bar Serum Glow Filter. You can use this one to two pumps before makeup as primer to brighten skin, even skin tone, and help reduce the fine appearance of lines. So this is what the packaging looks like. Wait until you get to the packaging. Ta-da! So I got this ready to go for my next time whenever I'm gonna use another primer. And then that's what the pump looks like. They do have this in Ipsy, so if I get this again, you guys know I will definitely, definitely talk about this in my makeup empties. I would love to have the sex in one of this one into a serum. But you guys will see this in my future empties. Speaking of, you guys, this is also another primer that I got in my Ipsy. 
This is the Stephanie Botanicals Pumpkin and Silk Aluminous Pre Makeup Base. But this is what the packaging looks like. And also, I'll show you guys the packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. And then this is what the applicator looks like. It is a primer and I'm really glad that if you have a family member who is also a makeup artist who know a lot about makeup, how to know, like read the instructions and stuff, it's a good way to have hair for that. But I'm not gonna use this yet until my other primers I have run out. But I will definitely use this in the future because I do have some other hair products that I haven't even used yet. Now, the other thing, you guys, I also have another lipstick and a lip gloss that I also got in my Ipsy. This is the PYT Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I really thought I should keep it. But it does have a plastic thing around it, so I'm really glad I capped it like this inside this little plastic thing. But this is what the combo looks like. This one is the shade called Bear All. But I can't wait to try this out sometime in the future. But you guys are gonna see a lot of testing out new makeup kind of thing. So keep an eye on this in my testing out new makeup. Okay, now this is the other product my mom also gave me. This one is the Laura Geller powder. This side, you can literally open that cap right there and you can just take the powder out. But I really recommend it if you have a powder, the cap part, you can literally open this up and then you just pour the powder out, the cap back on, and then you just take your brush like this and then you can just scoop it inside the cap. And then you can just put it all over your face on top of your concealer and all that stuff. But you guys will definitely see this in my upcoming testing out new makeup. This is the May Maker Loose Powder. All right guys, and we have three more products and we made it to the end. Okay, now the other thing you guys want to know, this is the mascara I actually picked out. This is the Callbox and Culture Exclusive Level Mascara 5-in-1 Lathing Mascara. This is the shade called Black. And if you guys want to see, this is what the packaging looks like. You guys can see, this is what the packaging looks like. Every time, you guys, when I'm actually using a new mascara, when I finish my old one, I will put the black thingy back into my mascara that I have inside my drawer. And then I just literally put it back in there and I put it inside my empties, my makeup empties. And then I open a new one. Every time, you guys, when I'm actually going to use new mascara or new products, I just throw these boxes away. And then I just take the black thing also of a new one, and that way I can use it. I have done that so many other times with a lot of my mascaras, and I'm so glad I did that. But you guys will definitely see this in my upcoming feature empties. I'm gonna show you guys what the packaging of the applicator looks like. That is what the applicator looks like. Yeah, so stay tuned for this in my next upcoming feature and in the future. But you guys will definitely see a lot of mascaras in my empties. Now, the second last thing I have this is the one that Ipsy picked out for me too. This is the Tarte Eyeshadow and Liner. It's a quick silk proof eyeshadow and liner. I have the shade Gold, Golden Pink Luster and I like all the black. You guys are gonna see a lot of these in my empties. 
So on top of this one is the eyeshadow. And then this is the bottom one of the eyeliner. I can't wait to try out more Tarte products in the future. But this is definitely gonna be a testing out new makeup. All right guys, the last product, this is the foundation I actually picked out. If you guys seen my drawer, it is literally filling up so fast. Now I have two new foundations that I will be testing out, but like I said, I'm really glad I'm going through one foundation at a time and then I will keep rotating a lot of my old stuff every single month. If you guys watch my next video, then that's the foundation I literally went through. I wanted to go back to that Tarte one, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline New York Dream Stay Liquid Foundation Hydrating Serum. This is the shade 30 Avery Beige. This is the one I will talk about in my next makeup empties. But then when this one's done, I will go to this one after. And then I'll go back to the Tarte one. So the new foundation I have is this K Von D Good Apple Skin Refreshing Foundation Balm. And I have the shade Light 201. I'm gonna show you guys what the packaging looks like. But this is what the applicator, the packaging looks like. And now I'm gonna show you guys the product. Ta -da! This is what the foundation looks like. I wonder if it smells like apple. Not really, but I can't wait to try this out. If you guys want to know, I heard a lot about this foundation in TikTok, YouTube, and I thought, oh my gosh, I really want to try this product. And now I have one, and you guys will see this in my upcoming tutorials, for depressions, that kind of thing. But I'm very grateful I don't use new foundations, not until the rest of them I have. Of the total foundations I still have, for all of them, I have 14 left foundations that you guys will definitely see my empties and I'm very proud of all the years I have gone through so much it's amazing I am very very proud of myself but you guys will definitely see a lot of that in my empties that's why I am so glad I'm not using any foundations or primers not until I go through the rest that I have but yeah guys, that is everything that I actually have inside my makeup haul. I will definitely do more of these in the future, but I'm very grateful I'm not using any new stuff. That's why you guys will see a lot of stunning makeup and I'm really glad I'm going through a ton of stuff right now. But if you guys really enjoy these type of hauls, then make sure you guys actually hit thumbs up. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. Also, make sure you guys also ring that bell. Let me know what other new videos that you guys would love to see in the future. I would love to know in the comments. But I love you guys all so much. And also guys, don't forget to comment on my hair what you guys think because it looks so cute. But I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.